my name is Ariel. Okay, let's uh, let's make sure we get it right so we don't tire you out. Do you think this is on? FaceTime. I yours? think it's on. Yep. Okay, let's try it again. All right. I'll get a little closer. Is that red light still on? Yes. My name is Ariel Fisk Vittori. I work with a Berkeley group called California Habitats Indigenous Activists, which is a nonprofit in Berkeley, California. In October of 2010, we collaborated with All Power Labs to test the potential of biochar on local natives here in the Bay Area. Here uh, to my side is our test beds where we tested two types of biochar um, on our local natives. We have a control bed and uh, we activated the soil with with uh, urine charged water. Sorry, I, I'm I got flustered. Uh, no, go ahead. Um, we, the only irrigation that we had on this was uh, diluted water, or sorry, diluted urine, and uh, that was to give the, the freshly planted local natives uh, access to nutrients uh, so that the biochar wouldn't absorb all of it from them and uh, make it a challenge for them to uh, get started. And uh, you can see in this test bed that the control bed is not nearly as full as the two beds that we introduced the biochar to. All of the beds were irrigated with the diluted urine. All of the beds had an equal amount of compost that was used, and only two of the beds had char applied to the soil. The local natives that we planted in these beds are California poppies, uh, blue-eyed grass, uh, monkey flower, uh, a local bulb and a local onion. The local bulb is called Church of the Alapsa. Also in the back we have uh, a coyote mint. And what proportions did you use in these various, in these three beds? Um, we added about 50% of the soil um, with char and compost. Can you tell us what char is for those who've never heard of biochar before? Yeah, biochar is a uh, thermally converted biomass very similar to charcoal but created in a very controlled environment and its real difference in, uh, compared to charcoal is that it has the intent of being uh, applied to the soil as opposed to being burned and this gives it uh, enormous potential to be a carbon negative system especially if the original feedstock was sourced from existing waste streams and other industries. Great and based on these three beds do you think it's uh, I won't say conclusive but uh, would you confidently say that biochar mixed with what proportion uh, urine, or what ratio urine to water did you use? And would you, would you uh, think it's safe to say for conversation or back of the hand purposes that this is uh, a good soil additive? Yes, I would say it's a great soil additive. It has all of the nutrients um, that the plants need. I mean, urine is... Uh, is a very high nutrient source, source that's great for plants. Um, we diluted uh, the, or the proportion of water to urine was about 1 to 20, one part urine, 20 parts water. And um, great. All right. Are you going to uh, do anything else with biochar and urine? Oh yeah, every uh, bed I will ever do in the future that uh, uh, involves biochar will always have urine in it. I, I think it's the best way to uh, give the plants the, a fighting chance and help, help them grow as big and vibrant as possible. Great. And biochar and urine, are these waste products of other processes, would you say? Um, yeah, urine is definitely a waste byproduct. I mean, we, it's one of our human waste that we produce every single day. And uh, biochar 
And the most ideal scenario is always produced from uh, waste feedstocks in various other industries. It could be construction industry, it could be other agricultural industries, oh, and so on. That's great. And who are you again? Um, my name is Ariel Fisk Vittori. And you are a gardener here at the... What's the formal name of this community garden? It's fabulous, I, beautiful I a, garden. I am a gardener here at the Peralta Community Garden in Berkeley, California. And what's your company called again? I work at All Power Labs, which is a startup biomass thermal conversion company also in Berkeley, California. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks for spending this you're, time. You're very welcome.